friends, it's Jim here with Nature Lover. I had did another plant haul. Um, I got um, a few plants here. They're um, all kind of different. Um, all right, let's get started. This uh, guy I had purchased a couple weeks ago. And um, look how white he is with just green specks. Isn't he beautiful? And this is a pothos. I believe it's the Snow Queen or Queen Snow. I might have gotten the name wrong, but yeah, it's within the uh, pothos family. I just love the variegation on these uh, leaves here. They're so beautiful. And I purchased two of this. And it, it's in a small little um, pot here, as you can see. Okay. Um, here is another, uh, Sansevieria, um, aka snake plant. This guy is a little bit different. Um, he is called the copper snake plant. Um, the leaves have some ruffles in it on the, uh, edging right here as you can see and um it does give off like a coppery tone i don't know if this camera shows it but um it does uh get much more darker or coppery i don't know if that's even a word but it does get really like um darker to me it almost looks like pink see that Compared that to this one back here. So, um, I have been keeping him kind of a little bit far from the sun. So, he's not as coppery or, um, yeah. Okay. So, he is called, again, Copper Sensevieria. Check out the markings on that. Isn't it beautiful? Um, silvery with some like gray or black. So the newer leaves down here, you see, is dark green. And as it get gets older, it turns into a copper color. All right. And uh, since I love the um, wealth and so much, I bought another one. Um, I'm hoping that this one will get big enough and I want to uh, give him away. So keep watching. Maybe I'll do a, a giveaway here in the future, okay? Again, he's uh, another uh, snake plant within a sense of area. Um, I just call him the will fin uh, snake plants much easier. I'm not good with those scientific names and stuff like that. <laughs> Um, this was the uh, other purchase. This guy was ordered online. Um, I believe he is in the Calathea family. Correct me if I'm wrong, but he is the um, variegated, or I believe it's the white fusion. Um, so it's still in its wrapper uh, when it came in. I haven't given it a home yet. I just wanted to kind of get used to the um, the place that I was going to put it in. So, 
And I know that these type of plants are very picky. Um, they love high humidity. And I'm just going to keep my fingers crossed to make sure that I do keep it alive. Um, I don't have any Calathea plants because, you know, by watching other people's channel, I hear that it's hard to um, take care of. But, um, yeah, just check him out. I thought he was pretty neat. And um, the variegation on the leaves here. He came a little bit damaged, but that's okay. No biggie, right? Here's the other side. Um, I love him. He's pretty neat. Okay. I also um, purchased another Hoya. I do have a small Hoya collection, but um, most of them are pretty common that you can find at the nursery. Um, this guy I've never seen before. Um, his leaves are, um, as you can see, they're kind of like pale green, but I don't know if this camera will catch it. You see, it's got some fuzz. It's fuzzy. The leaves got a little fuzzy. See that? Yeah. So, um, he is called a Hoya Australis. Now you can probably see the fur on it a little bit better there. Hmm. I tend to keep my Hoya on the dry side because I found out that um, they do not like wet feet because I have killed a few. And you know, I'm not a plant expert. I just learn as I go. Okay, let's move on to the next one. This uh, guy here was an online purchase. I believe he is in the uh, Alocasia or Colocasia family. Um, he was purchased online. Uh, he's a pretty small plant, as you can see. Um, I purchased this one um, for its variegation. Um, I believe this one is called the Milky Way because of the uh, white markings and the white uh, dots or splatter um, that's on the leaves. And I only have two leaves here, but, um, you know, again, you know, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that they will flourish and thrive and grow happily in here for me because I do love all my plants. They're like my babies. <laughs> Okay, so and here's another. Let's move this guy out of the way for now. He is a heart leaf fern. I have one already, but um, I came across this one at, um, I believe, Lowe's. And um, he is much bigger than the one that I have here. Um, 
but I couldn't pass it up. It's just beautiful. And I was able to uh, keep it alive in a terrarium. Um, so I think I, so that's why I picked this one up. And um, he's much fuller. And man, check out literally. Look at that. How could you not fall in love with that, right? It's just amazing. He's got little furs on the uh, the leaves. Okay, let's go to this um, this guy here. This I got yesterday. It wasn't a purchase. It was from a patient of mine, um, and I have no clue what this is. Seriously, guys, if you do know what this is, what type of plant it is, please leave me a comment. Or the name of it below. Um, I have a good friend that I see. Um, well, a patient. <laughs> and um, she has a whole bunch of this outside her front um, porch. I think it's within the uh, succulent family because um, it's leaves. As you can see, check out how big the leaves are. It is the, literally the the size of my palm or bigger than my palm um, the leaves are very beautiful it's got this lime green with like almost pink or brown veins going through it and the leaves are just so fleshy yeah. the leaves are very very fleshy like a calanchoe to me, I think it's within the Kalinkoe family, but I'm not sure. I really don't know. Um, this is one plant that I just have no idea. So she said, I can take a cutting of it. And um, she was like, take as much as you want. They grow crazy over here. So I took one. Um, as you can see, there's some new leaves coming up. I have never, uh, since I'm not familiar with this plant, I don't know how to propagate it, so what I did was just stuck it in water. And again, keeping my fingers crossed that it will um, send out some new roots, so I can, um, once it uh, have lots of roots, beautiful roots, I will pot it. But I am so lucky to have this plant. Um, you know, I, ooh, I just see... Do you see that? I think there may be little bugs there. I have to clean that out right away. But I am just very happy with it. I just love how the leaves look. Again, check that out. It's so fragile. It's not fragile when you touch it all fall, but it's the leaves are so fleshy. You just want to just touch it all the time. And um, take it out of the water real quick here. My camera doesn't do the plants any justice at all. So. <sighs> all right, guys. Um. I do have some other plants um, that I purchased, but I couldn't squeeze them all in 
to this video. I guess I will make another video um, some other time. And um, uh, before we go, I just wanted to show you or give you an update on one of the um, plants that I purchased. It's got some new leaves coming out, as you can see. This one was damaged from the, um, the the shipping, but I was happy to see that I'm getting a new one. And as I look down here, did you see that tiny little, right there, right there. That's a new um, shoot coming out too. So I'm very pleased. I believe this one was the um, Hawaiian Punch uh, alocasia or colocasia. But yeah, he's beautiful, isn't he? Well, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Um, thank you for stopping by, and I will see you guys again. So now, go and plant a little love. Bye.